today I'm going to be showing you how to change carburetor jets in your small engine. And as well as why would you want to and why wouldn't you want to. This carburetor is pretty much uh, the same among all the overhead six and a half horse cone motors. Uh, the Predator 212, the Honda GX200, Baja 196, Heisen 196, the GX 160s, pretty much all these small motors uh, that are around six and a half horse use this carburetor. This one happens to be Hua Hua Hawaii. I don't know how the fuck you say that. On these style carburetors, you have three ways to tune them. You have an air buoy that's going to tune your uh, air fuel mix at idle. This is where your pilot jet would be. Those are what the pilot jets look like. The pilot jets is going to affect your idle as well as your off idle acceleration from idle to about quarter throttle. So, pilot jet's pretty important for your acceleration. Typically, you do want this like, a little bit fat and use a little bit leaner main jet so you can. Uh, reach your max RPM. So that's the second form of adjustment and the last one is going to be the main jet which is right under this bolt in the float bowl. And there's the main jet. Changing the main jet is going to change your uh, Air fuel mix at pretty much everything above a quarter and uh, to half throttle. So your main jet is going to pretty much be most activated at the full throttle position. Um, if you're running lean, typically you're going to get a little bit more RPM running leaner than you would with a rich setting. Um, but you're not going to get the acceleration as you would if you were running slightly richer. Another reason you may want to change your main jet is if you're adding performance parts like a straight pipe or a performance air filter kit or removing the governor or something like that, you're going to probably want to change your jetting to uh, maximize your, your performance gain. These carburetors are very simple to work on. This is your uh, uh, full ball right here. Your needle and seat is right here. Okay, after you pull your main jet out, you're going to notice that there's another little brass piece in there, and that's the emulsion tube. This guy right here is going to change how the air and fuel mixes before it uh, reaches the main jet. The more holes in the emulsion tube you have, the more air is good, that's going to get in before the jet, making your um, mix going to run leaner, and the less holes you got, um, less air is going to get into the tube and it's going to make your mixture richer. So this is a GX140 E tube and typically you're going to run about maybe two to three sizes smaller main jet than what you do with the stock one. All right, we got our main jets right here. We got a couple different ones we're going to be using. Um, as you can see, this is the only one that is labeled, which is a 35 main jet and the rest of them are just ever so slightly progressively bigger. And then right here is our pilot jets and you can see the different shaped jets and the ends of them. Um, with your pilot jets typically a bigger one is going to give you a little bit better uh, acceleration and uh, transition from idle to the main jet. When you're tuning these carburetors, you're going to only want to make one change at a time. Um, if you think you're running lean in the top end, change your main jet and do that only. That way, if it turns out to be too rich or something like that, you can always figure out where you started, um, started at for a baseline. Then after you get your jet that you want in there, you're going to, go, you're going to want to go make some baseline runs. 
Once you find the jet that's yielding you better results, you're going to want to pull your spark plug and make sure you're not running lean or too rich. You're going to want to run full throttle until your engine doesn't reach a higher RPM and then kill the motor immediately. One thing to keep in mind is weather affects these carburetors. Hotter, hotter weather um, isn't going to be the same as uh, running these engines in colder weather. Colder air is more dense, so you're going to be running uh, slightly leaner than you would during the hotter months. A good rule of thumb is every 20 degrees you're going to want to change the jet size. So this was a quick old video on how to change main and pilot jets. Um, how to adjust the air bleed, when and why would you want to change the pilot or the main jet. So, um, I didn't really go in depth that, that in depth in this video, but I just wanted to make a little basic uh, video on carburetors and jetting. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.